one thing from within the paradigm of Chinese medicine, we know that different parts of the plant serve different functions. And so we'll see with certain plants that we're using the flower, the fruit, the twigs, the bark, the roots, the peel that's around the bark, and they all have very different functions within the body because they are just different. And that is really part of the richness of the herbal medicine tradition of Chinese medicine in really the ability to recognize that different parts of the plant serve different functions. And we know this, of course, on a very basic level in terms of nutrition, that eating the twig of an apple tree is different than eating an apple. You're mm -hmm. going to extract different nutritional value from the bark than you would from the fruit. Um, and if we look at mushrooms, we know that the historical research, at least the histor historical empirical evidence, is all with the fruiting bodies. And whether that started because the, the naked eye was drawn to the fruiting body and couldn't see the mycelium that was growing in the earth, um, or because of whatever other reason, but we know that humans historically have always used the fruiting bodies. That has been the priority, even within the Chinese paradigm where they were looking for mushrooms that grew underground, like the poria, like fuling, they still took the fruiting body mm -hmm. um, and found that to be the most sort of clinically useful. But we can also use the medical theory to extrapolate where the fruit is sort of the manifestation of the energetics of the plant in its complete form, where the mycelium is the growth process of the plant that stimulates a growing mechanism, but has not yet fully manifested. And so if we're able to sort of choose which part of the plant we're using, we might be able to come up with some research to study the sort of subtleties of the differences between mycelium and fruiting body. But at least as of now, of course, all the, the historical thousands of years of research, empirical, is with the fruiting body. It's not with the uh, mycelium. Not to say that, that it's not useful, it's just different energetics because the plant is in a different growth stage 